New at noon, getting tough on juvenile crime. Governor Lamont is signing legislation that passed this year. Chief political reporter Susan Raff is live now in Glastonbury with the latest on what all this means. Susan. Kara, good afternoon. The governor plans to sign this legislation today, and it's no surprise or coincidence where we are here at the community center in Glastonbury. This is where Safe Streets Connecticut started. This is where people were very vocal about what was happening in their community and what we were seeing all over Connecticut, and that was an increase in juvenile crimes crime, specifically car thefts during the pandemic. This legislation does make a few changes. It allows more access to juvenile records. It also reinstates a task force on guns and it expedites the court process so that juveniles who are arrested don't wait several weeks before they go to court. Now, lawmakers and the governor were under a lot of pressure this legislative session to do something as we saw a spike in crime in many communities. And here's what the governor had to say just minutes ago. Uh, we're doing our best to make sure that those few folks who uh, cause uh, the vast majority of um, be it car thefts or shootings or other related crimes, um, uh, we can get them arraigned on a timely basis. Something else that's in this legislation, and it was very controversial, and that is GPS monitoring devices. Republicans wanted those in this legislation, and they are, but they are at the discretion of judges. But again, more judges will be brought on to handle the uh, increase in cases. And again, lawmakers were under a lot of pressure. Uh, we have seen some of the numbers, we are told, come down in car thefts. but car thefts and also repeat offenders. That was what many people in communities found very disheartening and disappointing because some of these kids were back out on the streets just days or weeks after they had been arrested. So again, this legislation, many say, is a step in the right direction. Will they do more next year? That is very possible. But coming up tonight on Eyewitness News at 5 and 6, you'll hear more about what was said earlier today and the people who started this grassroots effort to try to crack down and how they feel about some of the progress they've made. We are live in Glastonbury, Susan Raff, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.